Hello everyone and welcome to Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy and every day, Monday through Friday, we go over the latest news in housing, real estate, and the mortgage industry. Today is April 20th, 420. And we have quite a lot of news hitting today as we didn't have a whole lot the first couple days of this week. First article in from CNBC, home prices keep rising despite the drop in sales. So this, this absolutely addresses the issue that we're running through across the United States and absolutely here in Southern California. We just don't have the inventory. So if we don't have the inventory, absolutely sales price, you know, the, the amount of homes that are being sold drop, but because the buyers haven't disappeared because of the rates, they're still buying, there's still multiple offers, they're still selling, it's pushing values up and up and up. So that's what we're seeing. This is in the news. And this, it, it kind of relates to the next article on CNBC as well. It's the price of homes sold in March set a new record as inventory dwindles and sales and sales fell. And so it's, it's, we're, we're getting that same theme over and over again, despite the amount of, you know, inventory that we have, the buyers haven't left because of the interest rates. They're still there. They still want a piece of the American dream. And this is what we're seeing all over NBC today. As those numbers came out, they were, uh, they were up significantly, you know, 4.5% over the same period of 2021. That's crazy. We just don't, we haven't seen prices absolutely stabilize or even go down in three years. So if you bought your home in the last three years, you have absolutely benefited from this. Next article here is Redfin. Americans are buying smaller homes as price as a price is skyrocket. It's again, getting the piece of the American dream, just getting in, got to get in the first step. They want that equity. They want to see it grow on a month over month basis, a year over year basis. They want to use that equity somewhere in the future to buy that bigger home or buy that forever home. So this is what we're seeing. And again, we're seeing the same, this is a just recurring theme of, of what we're seeing out there here across the United States and in Southern California. Now, some of the bummer news that that's hitting again is Redfin. And this is what we've been preaching now for many years as well. It says rental market tracker ask, asking rents climbed 17% to a record high in March. We knew this was happening. We knew what was going on. You know, People were, were in their homes and the government shielded them on the rentals and wouldn't allow any evictions or any increases in rent over two years when COVID hit. And because of that, now we're seeing these big issues when we finally release these properties. Now everybody wants market rent. And the problem is that prices have gone up and up and up, you know, on the, on the, on the, real estate sell side. So when they go up, that means more and more people are going to be wanting more and more rent. And that's what's happened here. 17% is ridiculous. In fact, here's the, the next headline, rising monthly mortgage payments up 34% from a year ago, 34%. You're paying a third more today than you would have 12 months ago. So kind of crazy, but that's what we're seeing out there. Last bit of news, again, we go over mortgage rates. This is for 5 p.m. on April 19th, which was yesterday. It's just across the board. We saw, we we're seeing just these jumps and they're just not stopping. We had a little relief for a few days and now it's we're right back at it. 30 year conforming up seven basis points to 4.3, uh, excuse me, 5.34. Conforming 15 year, 4.44. 30-year jumbo, and we're looking at 30-year jumbo at 4.78. It's not, it's closing in on 5% for 30-year jumbo. And then, of course, the FHA has gone up three basis points in one day at 5.12. We're just seeing this. It just isn't stopping. We're getting back to about 10 year ago or 15 year ago rates. It you've We've kept them low for way too long create this enormous housing market that's actually really helped us through a lot of difficult times, you know, here in, in the United States in the last five, 10 years. And now we're seeing that since we did move up the interest rates, which would make complete sense when you have this hot of a housing market and the fed just fumbled it through. And now they're starting to raise rents, uh, excuse me, raise rates. And it's just now this parabolic shot straight up 
of raising them. It's not any kind of slow momentum building. No, they waited, waited, waited. And now it's like a rubber band effect. It just snapped right back. And we're seeing that. So the rates are real tough. And it, in the foreseeable future, we're seeing these, again, move up and up. Maybe not as fast or as hard as we're seeing them right now, but we're going to still see them move up for the foreseeable future. Well, thank you guys very much for watching us. If you like what we, the content here, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit the notification button. Every time we drop a video, and it's Monday through Friday we drop it, every single day, weekday I should say, you know, you'll get notified. If you have a comment, please leave in the comment section. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions for you. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow on Thursday, 421.